So the way that a GIF works, you can kind of think of it as one of those flip books. So you can see here I have my I love you and it's each page is adding on part of the design. So we have L, the next O comes on. And so when you string them all together, it makes like a little movie. So that's what we're going to be doing with our GIF in Procreate. And each page is going to be its own layer. So let's get started with a basic way to create a GIF in Procreate. So there's lots of different methods. Um, I like to call them additive and subtractive methods of creating GIFs. I'm going to show you an additive method, which will start to make sense as we start to create this GIF. So layer one is going to be the first frame in your GIF. And so first we'll just start with the I. Each word is gonna show up on its own frame, okay? So pretty basic, we're just gonna write the word I. Now we're going to, let's just, to keep things straight, we're going to name this one because it's gonna be the first frame, frame number one. Now let's duplicate this layer. So take the layer and swipe it towards the left, choose duplicate. Now the layer on top is going to be called two. So you can rename it to two. And here, we're right now we just have a copy of the I. So on this layer, we're going to add love. Now let's duplicate this layer again by swiping it to the left, choosing duplicate, and renaming it to three. And then on this layer, we're gonna add you. So let's hide these layers now. So the way that the GIF is going to work is each of these layers will be a frame in order. So it's gonna go, I love you. So going to see what this GIF looks like, let's go to our actions, share layers, animated GIF, and now you can see exactly what we have here. So it's going pretty fast, you can slow it down, whoops. Slow it down by dragging this, you can make it really fast or really slow. So a couple tips here. Whatever layers you have checked or whichever ones are visible are going to be the ones that are shown in your GIF. So if I uncheck this last one here, so I just have frames one and two, let's see what that would look like. So it just goes back and forth between I and I love because it's going back and forth between these two layers. So you'll want to make sure that whatever layers you'd like to have included in your GIF have the checkbox so that they are visible. And if you have any that you don't want to be included, then you would want to uncheck them. Okay, so here's a tip. I like to actually have a blank layer before my GIF starts so that instead of starting on I, it starts as blank. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna create a new layer that's blank and move it down to the bottom and rename it zero. Okay, so let's see what that would look like. We can make this go a little bit faster. So here, instead of starting on the word I, it starts with a blank spot, which is kind of nice. Another cool trick you can do is duplicate this final layer, and let's just name it four, so that your message stays up a little bit longer because it's gonna stay up for twice as long since you have it on two frames. So I love you, you is basically what it's doing. It's repeating that last frame so that you can see the message. Okay, so that is the basic way of creating a GIF in Procreate with your lettering. Now, of course, you can add other things to each of these layers. So let's, on the first layer where it just says I, we're going to add a heart over here on the left and one on the right. Okay, and then on the second layer, we're gonna add a heart down here and up here. So the heart is the hearts are gonna look like they're moving because let's deselect everything here. Right now, I would have two hearts here, and then the second layer would look like this. So it's gonna go from this to this. Okay? And then on layer three, we can add two more hearts in a different spot. So this is just to add a little bit of movement. And finally, on layer four, let's add some, whoops, open layers, make sure you're drawing on the right layer, add some more hearts here. Okay, so remember, in order for all of these to show up, you will need to check them back on. 
And let's see what this looks like. Okay, so now we have some hearts that are moving around and it looks really neat. So if you toggle this transparent background, then you'll just see that the background, like as it says, is transparent. If you leave it on, then it's gonna be whatever background color you have chosen. So if we change this background color, let's just change it to light pink. Then you can see in our GIF, our background color is pink. So you don't have to make each layer have a background color. You can just do the one background color and it will apply to all of the layers. So if you wanted this I love you message at the end to stay a little bit longer with those dancing hearts, you could duplicate Duplicate that final layer again, rename it to five, and then I would move the hearts so that it looks like they're dancing still. So here's a trick. Right now we have all of these layers selected. If I just wanted to focus on layer five, I can tap and hold that checkbox and it's going to hide all of my layers except for that one. And here I'm just going to take my selection tool and right now I have it on rectangle and then move these hearts and maybe rotate them so that we can get some movement in here. And let's do that one more time. Duplicate, rename it to six. Uncheck our layer five, just so that we can focus on just this layer. And move these hearts once more. Okay, so let's see what this looks like. So remember to turn all of your layers back on. Um, you can tap and hold on the checkbox of the layer that you're on and they should all appear. So you only want layers checked that you want to appear in your GIF. Let's go back to animated GIF, see what this looks like. Okay, so at the end you can see we have just a little bit extra of those dancing hearts around the words. So then when you're ready to export it, I usually choose full resolution so that I get the best quality of my GIF after I've played around with the speed of what I want. And then I, I usually just save it to my camera roll now when we go into our photos, you can see our GIF is here and it looks great. So you can actually export this as an animated MP4, which is a video file. Now the only thing about exporting it like this is it's not going to loop. So the GIFs automatically loop, which means that, let's go back to our camera. So right now I'm on the GIF. It's just gonna keep playing over and over and doesn't stop. But when I go to my video, it just goes through that sequence once and stops. So that's how you create an animated GIF in Procreate. If you want to learn more, we have a full course that teaches you all sorts of different ways that you can create animated GIFs with your lettering. Just go to the link in the description of this video so you can sign up today. Thanks so much for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get all of our videos and tips that we post.